Good afternoon, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Matt and this afternoon we're going to take a walk around a stunning example of the 2011 Mitsubishi Triton GLX. First things to note, this thing is loaded with extras. Now the purpose of this video is to talk about condition, but we will also go over all the accessories. Starting at the front of the car now, the vehicle's been fitted with a full ARB bull bar and spotlight system. You will note that it has the worn XD9000 winch on the front there as well. We've also got the antenna for the CB radio, which we'll talk about more when we get inside. The front of the vehicle, couple of minor marks on the corner of the front bar, nothing to be concerned of, and it doesn't appear that it's done any hard work. The nice distinctive chrome Mitsubishi grille along the front of the bonnet, no signs of any stone chipping or scratching, which is always good to see. As we move around to the side of the car now, you can't miss this one, Iron Man 4x4, the nice big Iron Man snorkel fitted to the side. We then come down and we find a set of brand new Kumo Road Venture Mud Terrain 51 tyres. They're fitted to the standard steel wheels that come with this vehicle. Now you'll see the indicator in the front guard there, the distinctive Triton 4x4 badging, the black outer door mirror. The vehicle has been fitted with weather shields and tinted windows as well. Black door handles, no signs of any scratching in the door cups, which is always good to see. Just down the bottom of the driver's door in the middle, there is a very minor dent. It's probably very hard for the camera to see in this light, but it's a very minor dent right there. Um, and we have a little bit of scratching and touch-up paint just on the bottom sill. Uh, this vehicle is set up for four-wheel drive, and I would imagine it has done a little bit of that but by all accounts it does present beautifully. Rear door, great condition, no signs of any stone chipping or damage. On the back um, flare here, we do have a little bit of stone chipping and pitting. Has had the protective plastic fitted to help protect that flare, but there is just that little bit of pitting around here. Very minor and it doesn't stand out, but we do like to be extra critical when making these videos. Now, if my cameraman pans back down, which is going to be strange for him, down the sill of the vehicle, I just wanted you to note how straight under the sill is down there. For an off-road vehicle, that sill presents beautifully. Now, you would have noticed already that the vehicle is a little bit higher than a standard Triton. That is because it's been fitted with Ironman Nitro Gas Suspension Setup. All four corners, gives it a nice lift, very comfortable ride, and very practical for that off-road use. The previous owner has spared no expense when it comes to setting up this vehicle. Only the best of the best were fitted. Again on the back, brand new tyre, heaps of tread left in there, lots of life in it. As we come round now, the rear quarter of the tray, great condition, no signs of any scratching or stone chipping along there. Being very critical, again a very tiny, tiny dent there, and a little bit of touch up paint just where the corner of the tornado cover is rubbed, but very, very minor and I'm being very critical. So we come around to the back of the vehicle now, tailgate presents beautiful condition, no signs of any damage to the paint on there, the distinctive Triton badge, the nice Mitsubishi diamond in the middle, our GLX badge and our DID common rail badging as well, we'll talk about that a little bit more shortly. The vehicle is fitted with a genuine Mitsubishi tow pack, rated to 3 tonne towing. Now as we come round to the passenger side of the vehicle, this is generally where you'll find any damage being the curb side. Just to note, alloy sports bar and tornado cover, we will talk about those more shortly. But as we come round here, again the rear quarter of this tub presents beautifully. The rubber there is lifting a little bit just on that flare where somebody's uh, spilt a little bit of diesel. Again, great condition, Kumo mud terrain on the back um, and that nitro gas set up in the suspension as well. Same as the other side, small bit of stone chipping and pitting through here, very, very minor and hard to see. Now the rear door on this vehicle presents beautifully, no marks whatsoever, and the front is exactly the same. They present extremely well. 
front guard again a credit to the previous owner they've looked after this vehicle extremely well another great condition all that new kumo mud terrain on the front so the exterior of this vehicle really is set up for off-road use no expense spared a really good looking triton all right back around to the front of the triton now very impressed with the overall look very staunch triton to look at but let's have a look at the business end. Pop the bonnet, we've got the bonnet stay, holds that up out of the way, nice and easy. Great condition battery, looks to be all but brand new. What you're looking at, not only is a very clean and tidy engine bay, but the, the two and a half litre common rail direct injected diesel turbo engine from Mitsubishi. Now that's going to give you 131 kilowatts in of power and 350 newton meters of torque so plenty of power when you're off-road plugging through that mud all of that combined is going to give you on average 9.3 liters per 100 k's which out of its 75 liter tank will give you over 800 kilometer range so you can get plenty of places without having to worry about filling the tank back around to the rear of the vehicle now as we touched on before genuine tow bar three ton rating my cameraman picked me up and he said matt condition condition you forgot to point out the corner of the lens it has had a very minor chip in there is that small corner of that lens list missing not a roadworthy item doesn't affect any use of the vehicle but we do like to point all these out now i did mention before we'd get into the tub so let's have a look in there what we're going to find is a very tidy condition tub. Now if we flip back the uh, tornado cover and drop the gate, as you'll see, has been fitted with a genuine tub liner. No real signs of any major wear and tear. The tub does present extremely well for a what is now five year old vehicle that has seen a bit of off-road use so very impressed with how the previous owner has looked after this vehicle okay inside the triton now really good place to be extremely tidy interior we'll start on the driver's door we've got our four power window controls and our master lock button for those power windows nice tidy door cards no sign of any wear or tear through here and same on the pillar as we come through into the dash now we've got our master controls for the electric mirrors right and left and then just use the wee um, arrows here to adjust the mirror as needed the big switch here is for those big arb lights on that front bar flick them on flick them off as you need them as we come through now steering wheel we'll go actually to the right stem headlights indicators all as standard left stem is all your window wipers as standard as well steering wheel itself nicely wrapped no signs of wear or tear does have a little bit of fading just rubbed off on the silver there and on that side so the previous driver probably drove like that i would have thought cruise control is fitted to the right hand side of the wheel steering wheel is height adjustable put it into place lock it into position now the uh, instrument cluster nice and clear speedo right in front of you 100 k's dead at the top where it should be tachometer off to the left fuel gauge and temperature off to the right and a wee digital display just down the bottom that shows us what gear we we're in current trip meter and the current odometer reading of 153,050 k's now as we move in towards the middle if we come up a little bit you will find a clock so roof mounted clock just above the rear vision mirror coming back down you will note the dash mat fitted to this car so factory fitted dash mat so all the air conditioning vents and everything they're cut out where they should be coming down from there we've got Mitsubishi's um, stereo system factory fitted of course AM FM radio CD tuner is Bluetooth hands-free compatible for your phone has auxiliary and USB inputs as well so all the good options coming down we've got our air conditioning controls nice and easy to use dials where the air should be going how fast the fan goes and what temperature you want rear demister also our air conditioning button as well 
recirculation or fresh air. Um, we've got our hazard light button and just off to the left we've got our passenger airbag. So that's going to tell us if we disable the passenger airbag should we wish to put a child seat in the front of the vehicle. As we come down you'll notice the Orcon CB radio. That's for that big antenna out the front. We've currently got it on channel 3 because we were having a bit of a play as we drove up to the shade to film this video and we were talking to a couple of local truck drivers. So that was a bit of a laugh coming down and they have conveniently mounted the handset for that just up by the uh, radio there so nice and easy to access as we come down we've got a 12 volt socket a small compartment to keep the keys coins that sort of thing in then we get to our t-bar auto so four speed automatic overdrive on the side there as well and then we have our four wheel drive lever there as well you'll note the condition in here unmarked just presents beautifully as we come back from there we've got our handbrake two cup holders a small compartment and then a nice deep compartment below there which also features a 12 volt socket as well. Now as my cameraman does pan around the vehicle and show you the quality of the interior. Seats, carpets, door trims, glove box lid, everything in here is presenting extremely well. I don't remember the last time I saw a Triton with 153Ks on it that looks as good as this one. This vehicle has been extremely well looked after. Unfortunately, we do not have the service history for it, but we have been assured and our mechanics tell us that it has been regularly and well maintained. We just don't have the documentation to support that. If we didn't back this vehicle, it wouldn't be on the yard. We've given it a full 180 point safety check, an intermittent service, checked all the fluids, changed the oil, changed the filter. It's all set to go right now. So in summary, that's our 2011 Mitsubishi Triton GLX. Perfectly set up to take off road, loaded with extras, that Ironman Nitro gas suspension, the ARB bar and lights, the worn XD 9000 winch, brilliant interior, the Ironman snorkel, what's not to love about it? Presents beautifully, drives extremely well. Give us a call today, 9907 0555. Ask your friendly sales consultant about competitive finance options offering on this vehicle now. Also, a five-year premium mechanical protection plan, which can be fit, applied to this vehicle, which does include 10 years platinum roadside assistance. Their number again, 9907 0555. Love that car, love that experience.